Hey guys, Crystal from Dreams Gallery. All right, we are on to part three. Uh, this is painting tutorial for an office project um, for Busy Bees Cochrane. This is for the hanging panel. So I decided to do more honeycombs. I did not explain or show um, how I put these together. These are from Michaels. All I did was glue them together. Um, and then now I am using the same color theme. Uh, each one, there's three in total that I'm doing. So this one here is the blue faded um, section. Uh, in one of the paintings, there's there's one shade of blue like a teal, and then uh, there's a green and then a darker blue. So this one is the teal um, color. Now same idea with the honeycomb. I did each one to fade the colors together so they blend together and then I drew out the honeycomb. I drew lines in the middle just to get an idea of where I wanted them to start and to have a baseline to make sure that they're all straight. Drawing them out fairly quickly, same idea as the big paintings. And then I'll do the exact same thing. I'm outlining the honeycombs, same color, dark brown, and you'll see that next. So quick outline. And again, the exact same um, pattern. So then I'm gonna use, next you'll see us using um, a white highlight. Now it's obviously much, much smaller. So you're gonna see that it's not nearly as detailed. Um, it's still gonna have the same look though, the same fading. panel is taking about four hours in total. I'm doing basically a repeat on each so I'm only showing you the one. And here's the outline and then you're gonna see the exact same pattern, the exact same style that I do. The next is uh, doing the highlights and then fading out the edges, fading around the edges to make sure that you don't really see it, that the edges are um, disappearing. So now I'm using a yellow with water. And then here's white with yellow with water to blend it out and fade it into the background. And here, blue with water. Yeah, a little bit of yellow as well. Again, we're fading it, we're trying to fade it into the background so it's not the main focus. A little bit of white there, just blend it. A lot of this I use with a dry brush. So when I'm doing this blending, I try to do a dry brush. Um, it's dry, but it's got some paint on it. It's a different technique and you really get that kind of rustic look. Yeah, so fading it even more, making it just a little darker. So now we're doing that different shades, different um, areas that are a little darker and brown to give it that, that dirty look, that's what I call it, dirty look, and a little bit of the white as well. Okay, so that background is done, now I'm just doing the outline black, the entire outline. And the back as well. Black is always a nice outline. It really does show the detail of the picture. I find black is always the best for a border or an outline. That's why you can't see that. I'm just doing the sides there. Okay, so now I'm doing a dry brush. When I say dry, it's really not, doesn't have much paint on it. I'm rusting the edges. So I'm using brown, dry brush with a little bit of brown and wiping it. So there's just very little on there. And I'm just 
using that brush to make it look like it's rusted. So brown first and then white. The rustic look goes well with these honeycombs. Now this one here is the main, it's the middle um, honeycomb and it has the logo in the middle. It's the actual logo for the Busy Bees. Again, resting all of the edges. You know, there's all three. And that's it. Now you're gonna see the final products on the final video. Thank you for watching.